is. It's a little after three in the morning and I am all packed up and ready to go to the airport. The only other thing I have to grab is my phone charger and then I'll have everything. I'm really liking the fact that I'm actually not going to have a computer for this trip because one, it'll be easier to go through security without it. I don't have to worry about pulling my laptop in and out. But two, because this was basically empty, it just had a couple of things in it. I can stick my jacket in here instead of having to carry it on me. So that's nice. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? <laughs> my brother just scared the heck out of Ninja. My brother's actually going to the airport with us for once. Usually he doesn't go because it's early in the morning. Um, say bye to the team, the boy, but I'll be back on Saturday so I won't be gone very long. He's still kind of asleep. Kind of how I was when my alarm went off. I was like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. I went to bed at like uh, 10, 10.30. But I don't normally go to bed that early, and of course, I wasn't tired like I had done at 3 in the afternoon. So, hmm? Did you used to? Not at 10.30. So, um, it took me like an hour to fall asleep. So, I got about three and a half, maybe four hours of sleep. Because um, I got up at 2.30 to get my treatment done and, you know, get everything packed up. So, but I got comfy clothes on for traveling today. This shirt, yoga pants, tennis shoes. So, nice. let's go to the airport. Made it through security this morning, has been stressful already because I got stuck on a broken train for five minutes, so that was fun. Um, but I had about an hour and 15 minutes to board, so I'm gonna go get some Starbucks, hopefully the line's not too long, and then just park it at my gate, but never gotten stuck on a tram before. Tiny little plane I'll be taking to St. Louis today. <laughs> Okay, so I'm at my gate and I got some coffee. I'm trying something new. This is um, a s'mores frappuccino, so I'll see how I like it. But um, I just showed you guys a little clip of my plane. It's behind me, right there. They're putting snacks in it. Good. I want snacks. It's a little plane. Um, I'm thinking I might actually go walk a little bit because it's a little after 5. We board at 6.15, so I've got some time. And um, I'm just feeling a little bit frazzled this morning. I'm not sure why. Usually once I'm through security and just waiting to board, I'm fine. But I'm feeling kind of like stressed out. And I don't know if it's just getting stuck on the tram or TSA wasn't the most pleasant experience. They were kind of grumpy. Um, so I don't know what it is, but... I think I'm just going to get up and move around a little bit, so I'm going to put my purse in my backpack and just carry my phone and coffee, listen to some music, and try to chill a bit, and then come back here about 5.45, 5.50, um, and wait to board, but yeah, I don't know, hopefully it'll go away, but looking forward to flying again, both tiny planes, and uh, yeah, just going to try to enjoy the day. Hey guys, so I changed my mind about walking because there's so many people going back and forth right now. It would probably just stress me out more. So instead, I'm just sitting here watching all the little random happenings going on with the plane right now. They're loading stuff. Oh, this plane. They're loading stuff onto the plane. Um, snacks and stuff. And that's all FedEx plane land. So I'm just going to sit here and watch out the window until time for the flight. I feel a little bit better than I did.
pleasant flight. Not much turbulence at all. I was a little scared because the, the clouds were dark leaving Tampa, but it, hardly any turbulence. Um, beautiful views. Just overall a very pleasant flight. I really enjoyed it. We did leave 20 minutes late, so we got in a little bit late, but I have a two-hour layover anyway, so that doesn't matter. I can find my flight on the board. <laughs> Looking for passenger Michael Parsons, James and Karen and Clinton Flinger, K L I N. I'm gate E34, so I'm all the way down here again. Just like last time, all the way at the end. But I'm gonna go find my gate and then find food and then do something. Um, we left 20 minutes late because the pilot came on and said there was some issue with the baggage hold or baggage ticketing or something. There was some issue with the baggage, so we had left late. But all is well in St. Louis. <laughs> like I said, really enjoyed that flight. <clears throat> and uh, looking forward to the next one. Alright, got myself some food, some pretzels, and I came to sit here because I can charge my phone and kind of watch the runway as well. I'm doing that, which is kind of cool. And uh, I still have quite a while before uh, my next flight. So, I'm just going to chill. It is kind of more interesting to be at least be stuck in St. Louis than it is to be stuck in Dallas. Because Dallas is tiny, so I'm glad that I'm in St. Louis. Um, and hopefully this will wake me up a bit because about an hour into that flight I was falling asleep. I didn't fall asleep, but I was almost dead, so I'm trying to wake up a little bit. And uh, yeah, just gonna eat and try the phone and enjoy.
just brought the vest and seatbelt sign on for the short remainder of the flight. Beautiful day there, 70 degrees, clear skies, light winds out of the east. I'll be there right on time, uh, maybe a few minutes early, right, right after about 12 noon. Thanks a lot for flying with us, and we look forward to seeing you on a future Southwest flight. Thank you. We'll talk to you on the ground. pleasant flight. The flight attendant had me laughing so much. I'll tell you more about that later because, um, I don't know, it's kind of awkward vlogging in an airport even though I've been doing it all day. But, uh, maybe I'll say it now. I don't know. But, um, my mom's going to be about 30 minutes late because she had to work. So, I'm just going to sit here for 30 minutes. Um, but, it was a very pleasant day of flying. The weather was perfect. Coming into Little Rock was a little bit weird because we were going down and then we gained altitude again and then we went down and then we went up and then we went back. So that was a little bit weird, but I don't know. There, there had to have been a reason for it. Um, but anyway, just a couple of examples of a flight attendant was like, um, smoking is not prohibited on this uh, aircraft. If you do it, you'll be met by law enforcement. And if you wanted that price, you would have flown Delta. And um, she was like, uh, if you, uh, if we somehow land in water between here and Little Rock, because we're going over land the whole time, she's like, it's a life vest in your seat, and, um, uh, what was some of the other ones? Um, oh, we never anticipate a loss in cabin pressure, but if there is one, four yellow oxygen masks will deploy from those magic compartments above you. Um, stop screaming, let go of your neighbor, and put them on your face, and then, uh, this aircraft is equipped with six emergency exits, party lights overhead, and neon lights on the floor will guide you to them, and then, just laughing so much. And then when we were clear for takeoff, you know, they do that um, ding, ding thing, you know, when you're clear for takeoff. And uh, she's like, ding, ding, the pilots are going to do their thing. So hug your, so give your seatbelt a tug, give your neighbor a hug, because this Boeing is going. <laughs> I don't know. It just made my morning because I was so tired and we were delayed again because of, um, actually, I think I'm probably going to upload my vlog once in here. But anyway, we were delayed again because of, the computer was down in St. Louis, and so they had to like put all of this in manually. So it took forever to board, and then I was just really tired. I was just tired of traveling at that point because I've been up for almost 12 hours now, and it's only 12. And so um, I was like, I was just really over it. And so that livened me up and basically set the mood for the entire flight. I was happy like the entire flight after that, and I still am. It just I've always wanted one of those, <laughs> one of those funny flight attendants, um, but I've never got one, so, um, but hey, while I'm sitting here, I guess I'll go ahead and upload this, um, so I don't have to worry about it when I get home or when mom gets here, so, with that, thank you guys so much for coming along on my day today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, good night.